In the last lecture, we were able to create the create user DTO class and we were able to validate the incoming request body with that DTO class. Now, data validation is very important and you want to apply data validation to all the incoming requests to your API endpoints. Currently, we are only performing the data validation on this create user method and for that what we are doing is we are passing this validation pipe to this body decorator in order to validate the request body and for that we are also using this create user DTO. Now if we want to validate the request body for all the incoming post requests then in that case we will have to add this line of code for all those controller methods. Right. Now instead of repeating this line for each controller method what we can do is we can set this validation pipe globally and when we set the validation pipe globally in that case this validation pipe will be applied on all the controller methods and to do that all we have to do is we have to go to main.ts file because as we have learned earlier all the configuration which we want to do for our nest.js application we do it inside the main.ts file so here once the app is created using this create method on that app we can call a method called use global pipes okay so here we have that method use global pipes and which pipe do we want to use globally here we want to use the validation pipe globally okay and to use this validation pipe inside this main.ts file we also need to import it from nest.js slash common so when i click on this it is going to import that validation pipe from nest.js slash common and we are passing this validation pipe as the global pipe to this use global pipes method and in this way now we don't need to add this validation pipe to each controller method if the controller has a DTO class associated with it then nest.js will automatically validate the incoming request using that DTO so if I save this file and if we go to our user controller there since now we are adding this validation pipe globally we can remove it from here and since for this user we have attached a DTO nest.js will perform a validation on this user using that DTO class because on this create user method also this validation pipe will be applied okay and for that method we have also specified a DTO class so that validation pipe will use this DTO class to validate the user object the request body which we are going to receive in this user object let's see that let's save the changes here and let's confirm that the application has recompiled so here the application has recompiled let's go to postman and there let me go ahead and let me remove this name so for the name I'm passing an empty string and in this case we should receive a validation error so if I send this request you see we have this validation error name should have a minimum of three characters and name should not be empty so the validation is still working let me go back and let me provide the name again and now let's go ahead and let's try to provide an invalid email address something like this okay and if I send the request again this time we should have an error on the email so email must be an email so the validation is working as expected and if we provide valid data for the request and then we send the request in that case we should receive this response a new user has been created now here the user is not being created actually we are receiving this response because if everything goes well if there is no validation error message then we are simply returning this message in the response and that's why we are seeing that response message here okay so now what we are doing is we are applying this validation pipe globally now for this validation pipe we can also set some options and we will see what options we can set and how it will help us validate the incoming request in a better way in our next lecture. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.